young when you moved to LA. Yes. You were 20? 20. Which is a baby. You were Two like... Two suitcases and didn't know anyone. Yes. So you I didn't, didn't feel brave. Anyone? I didn't feel brave though, but I didn't feel not brave. I just thought that that was the only answer. Right. There wasn't another way. Why? Why do you say that? Because I wanted was... to be in a... I wanted to be in film and TV. Right. And there was no other choice. It wasn't like I could do that in Australia and I could to a certain extent, but you get to a certain place here and, and the, the opportunities aren't as great. Or, I mean, I love being here, but at some point you want to meet different people and directors and producers and stuff like that. You want to go over and see how far you can go. Right. So it wasn't even a choice. You just, yeah, it was like I'm just doing It was this. like if I want to be an actor who can hopefully be successful, this is where I have to go. Right. And yeah. so at 20, two suitcases, you literally didn't know anyone. Didn't come home. So you haven't been, this is the first time No, back. no, no. I <laughs> <laughs> haven't been home for 15 years now. Yeah, um, wow. So yeah, and just never came back. And so then when you rock up, you're yeah. young, you can't even drink over there, like you're that young. I mean, I did, but. <laughs> how, did you, what, how did you start your world over there? Luckily, because of Home and Away, which is why I think it's really important, no matter who's on it, to always be very grateful for that experience. Yeah. Um, because of Home and Away, I was able to get an agent and a manager. And because of that, um, you know, doors were more opened. I was able to get auditions and, and I auditioned for an entire year and nothing happened. Right. How um, did you pay your bills at that time? Well, I had saved a lot of money right. from Home and Away and I bought a house. Right. So, um, at, at 20, far out. I bought a house at 17. Did you really? Because yeah. my parents were smart. They were like, you know, you need to make sure you don't waste what wow. the opportunity you've been given. Yeah, right. So I came over, but at some point, the money that I had saved ran out. Right. And my parents were supporting me up until a certain point, and then they just said, we're done. Right. Like my dad put me up in a hotel in Beverly Hills because he was so afraid of like gun violence and stuff like that. Right. So like I was staying in the Beverly Hills. No, it was like a boutique hotel in Beverly Hills, but for three months. Wow. And they were just like, we're done. We yeah. can't do it anymore. And I was like, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to go home. And it's funny because... Religion is something I need to, it's a whole other subject. But at the time I went to church and I just fell like on the floor and I just prayed and I was like, please give me a job. And I'm not kidding. The next day I got a phone call and I booked three jobs. And one of them I met my husband on, one was Young and the Restless and one was Rules of Engagement. Wow. Cha-ching. I was she just arrived. like, and maybe it was the universe and maybe it was just that I'd sort of given up in a way. So right. I was holding on to all that control. Um, but my life changed, yeah. 